In this special episode of Aviation Connect, we introduce you to India's ace aviators and the made in India aviation products they fly. They tell us what it's like to be India's test pilots and showcase the capabilities of the aircraft they fly. Group Captain Ranjit Panikkar, Senior Test Pilot at Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, introduces us to the made in India small aircraft and takes us inside the cockpit detailing the operational capabilities of the aircraft. The Hindustan Aeronautics Limited manufacturer Donia 22A has been introduced in the civil aviation market in the last few years with an aim to connect remote regions of the country. Good morning, I am uh, Group Captain uh, Ranjit Panika. I am the Senior Test Pilot at HAL Kanpur and I have been involved in the flight testing and certification of the Hindustan 228 which is the first uh, aircraft to be first indigenous aircraft to be manufactured and certified uh, by the DGCA. So uh, it's a proud moment for our uh, country and in the, with the theme of At- Atmanirbhar Bharat this has been uh, one of the milestones in the transport flying uh, domain. The Hindustan 228 is uh, a 19-seater aircraft. We have a multiple variants of the 19-seater and the 17-seater, and uh, plus uh, two pilots. It has uh, got a weight of uh, 6,200 uh, kgs, and it can uh, operate in uh, very short uh, runways and even on unprepared surfaces. This is the upgraded and the latest version uh, of the of the erstwhile Dornier, uh, which is manufactured at uh, HAL Kanpur. We have a long history of the Dornier, and uh, we have we are aware of how reliable and uh, a proven platform this is. This has got a new upgraded engine. It has got um, a composite propellers which make it quieter and lighter. It has got a completely glass for cockpit which, is give, which gives it a much better, gives the pilots a much better situational awareness and therefore make it a safer uh, platform in today's high density environment. So, an older variant of this aircraft is currently in use in the northeast and connecting various uh, remote uh, locations like Pasigat, uh, Mechuka, and so on uh, to uh, central locations in the northeast. Uh, in places like the northeast or in other remote locations, this is an ideal platform uh, to connect a remote location to a central location on the hub and spoke model and also letting uh, every single citizen of the, uh, of the country fly in comfort, in safety at a much uh, lesser uh, uh, price as compared to uh, the big big jets. It is also a very cost effective and uh, safe option in uh, connecting the Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities to the uh, major hubs or the metros. So this is a a state-of-the-art glass cockpit which we have, uh, which is got uh, four multifunction displays. These are smart multifunction displays. These are not just displays, but it has got the entire computing also in each of these four. So I can select any, uh, these are completely configurable. I can select any display on any uh, particular uh, MFD and um, it gives me the complete information I require for piloting this aircraft. We have a much uh, a neat and clean uh, uh, um, cockpit. And uh, we have a place for an electronic flight bag uh, or um, iPad here. And um, with with this, what it gives me is a better situational awareness. And a uh, better situational awareness gives me uh, greater safety while piloting passengers. Uh, with this, I, have, uh, I can uh, go anywhere with com- complete assurance of um, information about the aircraft, about its parameters, about the place I, place I am. And... Um, terrain awareness, traffic awareness, everything. Uh, the weather radar, everything is integrated into the um, into the uh, displays. And I can select, uh, the, we have, we have a, uh, ex- a brand new autopilot which gives me a complete uh, controllability over the aircraft. Um, and effectively a pilot is almost out of the loop. I just need to take off and land. Rest the, uh, the entire profile is done by the autopilot. Uh, so this, whatever makes a pilot's life easier, increases the safety, the reliability and Uh, ease of operation of the aircraft. So we all become pilots uh, inspired by the joy of flying, of uh, inspired by Top Gun or any such uh, dream which we have, movie or dream we have seen. And uh, the, I, I, for me, the ultimate joy of flying is in becoming a test pilot, where I can take an aircraft to the uh, limits of its envelope and uh, 
see what the aircraft is capable of, what it can do, uh, fly a new aircraft uh, from the beginning, from the initial uh, prototype stages up to its certification, which I have been fortunate enough to do. Uh, me personally, I was a I fight, fight pilot in the Indian Air Force. I've flown about 30 types of aircraft. And that is because I was a test pilot. I have uh, become a flying instructor. And after that, we who elect to, uh, we were volunteered to become a test pilot. Um, in our country, we have one of the six test pilot schools which, uh, which are there in the world. And uh, in our, uh, we, we have the Air Force Test Pilot School, which is a very unique organization. And uh, as a graduate of that, uh, you are cleared to operate all aircraft uh, and to test it to the limits of its envelope and to integrate any new avionics on the aircraft to do new uh, testing of new prototypes. Like I was involved in the SARS program uh, during the flight testing of the SARS. Uh, which is a new, uh, which is a new aircraft. Also, I was involved in the in that uh, type certification of this aircraft uh, from the first flight of the of this aircraft up to its uh, completion of type certification. So that's that's a that's a pure joy of flying, uh, being able to do something which um, nobody else has done before, and then uh, give a, a proven and a, a complete product uh, to the to the line pilot, uh, which a product which is safe and uh, reliable and easy to fly. So we, um, I must have seen the meme where uh, a child is saying, uh, I don't want to study anymore, I want to be a pilot. I have also thought that a pilot didn't have to study anything. But coming here, coming to the Air Force, you realize there's a lot of uh, engineering, a lot of uh, academics involved in becoming a pilot. And even more so for becoming a test pilot. You have to clear a lot of exams uh, on uh, the, the with your uh, about mathematics, physics, aerodynamics, and after clearing those exams, you also have uh, to clear a flight uh, aptitude tests. So, uh, because as a test pilot, I am able to convert onto any fixed wing platform in just two sorties, which may take a normal line pilot uh, uh, many many hours to convert onto. We are trained to convert from one aircraft to the other, and uh, over the years, I've flown, uh, as I said, over 30 types of aircraft. Uh, up to four types of aircraft of the single day, uh, which the normal line pilot is not clear to do, just because of the training that we do. Uh, it's an intensive one-year course we do uh, in our uh, test pilot school in uh, in Bangalore, and the, the the training is the same irrespective of which test pilot school you do it uh, in any of the six across the world. Uh, on an average, about four to six test pilots are uh, pass out. I, I, for fixed wing test pilots in a year in our country. So it's a very small and uh, limited group of people who are lucky enough to do this job.